guys, what's up? And welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. For today's video, I'm going to be making the smallest charms that I can, and I'm going to fit them in a tiny jar that I bought. Now this video was actually first uploaded on my main channel, and I had a problem with the audio. So unfortunately, I had to take it down and I thought that instead of reposting it on my main channel again, I'll just post it here. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, and if you could maybe click that subscribe button, that would be so, so awesome. I also posted a new video over on my main channel. It's a balloon popping video. So in case you guys haven't had enough of my balloon popping videos, you can watch that video. I will have a link down below. And now without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. The first charm that I'm going to make is a teeny tiny watermelon. So for this, I have some polymer clay. I'm using the color red. And if you're wondering what brand I use, it's Sculpt V3. And I'm going to shape this into a rough triangle like shape, making sure that the edges are kind of round. Next, what I'm going to do is take some green polymer clay and roll that into a thin snake. And all I'm going to do now is just put that at the base of the triangle. And of course, if you need to trim off any extra clay, you can go ahead and do that. I'm now going to pop on the eyes and I'm not gonna lie, but this was a huge struggle. Just trying to make really tiny eyes is super hard to do. But once that was done, I'm just going to insert my eye pin and you'll see why I'm doing this in a little bit. Now we're going to move on to making a teeny tiny pineapple. So I have my yellow polymer clay which I'm going to shape into an oval and then I'm just going to pop on the eyes. A great idea to make the eyes easier would be probably to buy small black colored microbeads. I didn't have any so I had to make the eyes on my own. But if you struggle making the eyes, you should totally get some microbeads. Then I'm going to add in some green polymer clay at the top and insert my eye pin. Once I have the eye pin inside, I'm going to kind of shape the green clay into leaves. This isn't really perfect because it is so small, but I feel like it kind of gives it more detail. Now we can move on to making our third charm, which is a teeny tiny orange. So I have this orange ball of clay and I'm going to give it a lot of texture using a needle tool. You can also use a toothpick to do this. Then I'm going to pop in the eyes and once that's done, I'm going to insert my eye pin. Now I have this really tiny cork bottle and what I'm going to do is check if the charms actually fit inside this. But I actually didn't end up using this uh, bottle by the way. I ended up using an even smaller bottle that I had. But right now I'm just going to check if they fit and they do. You can get these jars on eBay or Amazon. I'll try to leave a link down below. Now I'm going to let these bake in the oven for only 4 minutes on about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the charms have completely cooled down, I'm going to add in the final details using acrylic paint. So in between the green and red, I added in a white line, I added in the seeds, and then I also finished off the face. I didn't do the entire face with clay because that would have been really hard for me to do. So I thought paint would be easier and it actually was. And yeah, now I'm going to finish off the pineapple and the orange. So now that I have all three of the charms done, I'm going to carefully remove the charm from the eye pin. This is the bottle that I actually ended up using and I'm going to take off the cork and very carefully push my eye pin into the cork. Then I'm going to cut my eye pin according to the size of my bottle and I'm going to put some E6000 glue and glue the charm in place.
Finally, you can put your charm inside the bottle. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments down below which charm was your favorite. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.